What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and look, we have more than 2 million HP on the new Rook Titan here on the test server with the new Titan pilots that are coming into the game uh, with one of the upcoming updates. You're seeing here the setup we're running, or one of them. Yang Li is the first Titan pilot we have available. He got three legendary skills to start with uh, that will give you increased damage to Titans, increased Titan durability, and when Titan drops to 20% or lower, it gets a quantum radar. Uh, the last one I don't think is particularly useful. Which interesting though, I maxed out the HP. We have Rook Titan HP, uh, 2%, then Tough Guy, Rook Titan durability uh, for uh, weapon damage, right? 15% less weapon damage, 20% more HP. We have Rook durability, 6%, as the armor expert, then cautious pilot, rook durability for speed, 20% durability for 10% speed, of course we can get 15% speed back with the next skill, and then customization adapt, rook has more durability but its physical shields are reduced by 20%. Physical sh uh, HP is always better than physical shields, especially when you can pop them and get new ones on the rook. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into the gameplay, I will also show you in just a moment uh, all the titan rebalance um, that uh, is going on. So stay tuned, here we're jumping into a game where that was already lost. You saw when I jumped in, we were at 20 versus 29. Let me show you how my single 2 million HP Rook Titan can change this. Me versus all of the enemy team, alone, okay? 2 million HP Rook, let's go, bam, first Titan dies, second guy here in front of us, pop, he's gone. That's already 2 kills. Now I have physical shields. I made the mistake of popping them. I could have actually kept them here because he's got laser weapons that blind me. All right, um, but uh, typically when you fight an enemy with a lot of damage output like a Titan, you would pop your shields before they drop, right? So that you gain during the battle the heal back. And you see this guy stands zero chance, pop, uh, third guy done. We have a Spectre up here, he seemed to have jumped there with his jump unit, or, or with his stealth jump, to get to me faster, which means he doesn't have a stealth now, pop, kill number four. Here we go with a cloaking Kepri, alright, down there is a dude who feels pretty safe, but um, then he noticed that I am actually paying attention to him. Then I see the Reaper weapon, the anti-resistant new test server weapon that's really powerful even against Titans, this guy over there with his Crisis robot. By the way, more Crisis content coming up in just a few uh, uh, next videos. So I'm going for him because I know he's the biggest threat and while I'm just drive-bying, I'm totally deleting this guy from the game. Pop, that's what, kill number five now? Uh, there's an angler, I know he's gonna be a trouble because he's, you, you just can't kill him. Like, he will always go into an ability, but here comes an enemy Titan and he thought he can just attack me, but my physical shoots prevent a couple of his shots. Meanwhile, my Sonic Titan weapons just shred him, even though we have a Sonic Titan rebalance where they do 15% less damage per shot. It's not enough though, they're still ridiculous, as you can see here. Kill number seven, kill number eight is right in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it was 20 versus 29, so now it's 27 versus 29. Now let's make that 28 versus 29. One more single kill and I will have made a draw. Another kill and we would have won the fight. However, this guy, Angler, how he is, or, you know, sissy, sissy Angler, how they play, he just, you know, stays away from it. He knows, you know, if he basically loses, that would be a draw. It says test server, it doesn't really matter, but, you know, if you're fighting like this, you still want to win the fight, you know. So, let me just show you all the pilot skills uh, that you can have. I have an empty Yang Li, which means that to the left you see Survivor, uh, increased weapon damage, but speed is lowered. You can do that too, 10% more weapon damage. If you want to make assassin playstyle or killing damage output, titans that would be the skill for you and then just stop the video or i stop it for you so you can check out all the skills uh, if you want to right because i'm not gonna read all of them but it's basically all the skills that we know from the game um with on low durability getting resistance or speed hey what's with the effect here all right so there we go pop 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 i hope you can see all that we're jumping right into the next insane get battle situation, ladies and gentlemen. I'm showing you just all the pilot skills that are coming for the Titans, so you can already plan ahead. Here's the Titan rebalance, reduced repair power on the Aether Titan, reduced bonus to speed um, from the Vigor ability, reduced uh, force field effectiveness on the Aether, all of that on the Aether, reduced EMP and uh, uh, accumulation rate, then increased movement speed slightly faster, 2%, uh, 2 kph, and increased built-in weapon damage, really didn't do too much. 
much damage before and increase skyward duration from 8 to 10 seconds so you have a lot of these disadvantage you know nerfs but you they, you get a more effective ability basically uh, at, at least in terms of duration hold on that was not it uh, we have Nodens, increased movement speed 43 to 45. Okay, it's not bad. Increased durability 10%, but as far as I know, the link problem has still not been fixed. Same as the hitbox problem on the uh, Imugi, for example, the Ardent one. We have reduced damage per shot, Veyron and Evora minus 15%, but you've seen here on the test server, it makes no difference. These weapons just as much obliterate. I think probably that should be like 30% or more to make him somewhat a balance. It's probably still too much. Glaive Lance increased damage multiplier f for the second shot from 1.1 to 1.5. Second shot will do more damage. The third shot that after which it resets uh, instead of four times damage only 2.5. So it's a more uh, even damage output you're doing with it. Dazzler reduced damage per shot 15%. I don't think Dazzler needs a 15% nerf. What we need is that uh, perhaps although I read that not all of you guys agree with this but um, that the uh, blinding effect should uh, should have a long immunity after the effect takes place. You shouldn't be blinded as often. That's what I'm trying to say, but the damage output is absolutely not too high. The fact that they're being nerfed is ridiculous, in my opinion. Anyways, uh, Cataclysm Cyclone increased 10% damage. Uh, Squall Grom increased ammo capacity. Very good, they need that. And Boulevard Kisten reload time from 10 to 8 seconds. Ooh, yeah, that's good. So, next situation, 2 million HP Rook Titan just obliterating everyone on his path, including this Heimdall right there. Uh, he made the, ex the mistake of existing. When I'm in the battle and I'm relatively close to you, uh, just don't make that mistake. Do not exist, because if you do, you'll not, you, you won't exist for much longer. <laughs> Especially not with this Titan, dude. 2 million HP. Look at this. What are they gonna do? Now imagine you can increase your durability with certain durability extenders or paladin battleship effects and, uh, and whatnot, right? So, yeah, and then of course we have repair, titan repair, amplifier and all this yummy goodness that you can slap on this thing as well to make it basically simply immortal. This thing will end up being 100% immortal unless you have two or three titans jump you. Woo! Sorry, I need to vibe a little bit for the music, man. I just can't get over it. So he had Boulevard Kiss and he thought it's a good time to test it on the test server. Unfortunately, uh, I'm here in the enemy team just ravaging. Also, there's one guy of the enemy team in my team. A single dude. This one guy must be so insane because he, none of my teammates ever leave this base. Um, even after he's gone, they will always stay in that base. They, I don't know. Here, this guy again has the new Reaper weapon, very powerful against uh, Titans, so I decide to focus him first, because, you know, obviously you're gonna focus what's most dangerous to you. If there's a Titan, I will focus the Titan, like now, um, but if there is a Reaper-based setup, then I will focus the Reaper-based setup. By the way, he just scrapped this robot and jumped into something else, probably a Titan as well. So, here we go, you see the damage output he's doing to me, that's a lot, and I'm in the battle with four guys, so I just do what a Rook Titan can do, just jump 500 meters away because it's so balanced. It's so balanced that you can just decide to jump 500 meters away out of a 4 on 1 into a 0 on 0 and just be completely free and easy. Heal yourself back up and come in with another 2 million HP shortly after. That is balanced, yes. And get 100% full fresh durability shields as well. Because why not, right? Can do that. And when I jump back in, guess what? Oh yeah, they're gonna be suppressed too and take damage. Yes, it's all necessary to make this thing interactive. Yes, all of that needs to be on the Rook, otherwise you're probably not gonna be interested, right? Oh my goodness. Anyways, uh, we're here in the battle again versus literally five people at the same time. One of them is an Indra with the new freezing rockets for Titans, and I'm just unloading everything I've got against this Titan there. And uh, somehow he stopped dying. I don't know why. Mm, he got fresh physical shields. Oh, my team is here now. Woohoo! I can't believe they actually exist. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get rid of this dude. Ooh, can I? Can I? Yep. There we go. Um, and I'm still kicking. I'm still absolutely ruining this enemy team here. Uh, I should probably focus that Indra, but every time I want to attack it, something else happens right in front of me. So let's get rid of that guy for a sec. And then maybe we can go for the Indra after. Yeah, we punished him hard. He lost like 60%, uh, 30%, 40% health. And you see we're losing this match based off beacons because my team 
Sorry, I'm in the ma in the enemy battle and I'm fighting a 4 on 1 for like 5 minutes straight. I can't at the same time capture beacons, but while I have 4 enemies on me, I'm pretty sure it would be possible for the rest of my team to take at least 1 or 2 beacons. So now, unfortunately, the gameplay ends, which could have gone a lot longer. Um, but um, yeah, next situation. This time I swap to a different setup. I'm running the freezing rockets so, so you can see them as well. Uh, they do a lot of damage, but... Um, they run empty. They run dry of ammo. By the way, do you notice that? I only have 300 meters range and when there's somebody above 300 meters, I can't fire, fire at him anymore. I don't know, this must be a bug because as far as I know, those weapons are not supposed to have 300 meters range. They're supposed to have more. Or am I confusing something? So we're unloading completely on this, um, on this Rook Titan there. We dropped him by... By around 40 to 50 percent, it's hard to tell because another Titan of my team was also shooting him. Um, but overall, this uh, thing just unloaded a huge amount of damage. I think the damage output from these freezing rockets isn't much worse than the Squall, no, than Evora and Veyron. However, Evora and Veyron, as usual, are better because of they have a fixed reload. A fixed reload will always outperform a continuous reload because you just spend a few, little bit of time reloading and you have full firepower loaded again. Whereas these weapons require an eternity to reload, then you fire for three seconds and you're empty again. And this was, you can see, there's a whole lot of Titan action going on. If I had Veyron and Evora, I could just eliminate one Titan after another. I can just unload, 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 and every time I'm fully loaded, loaded after the reload, one of the Titans almost dies, right? But uh, not here. Not here because I'm limited immensely limited by the, the potential firepower this weapon simply has. Uh, and uh, you can play as much as you, as good as you want, you can have the perfect position, you can have the perfect opportunity to shoot titans in their backs and everything, if your weapon simply doesn't have this amount of, doesn't have ammo, that there's nothing you can do, right? And that's exactly what's going on here. That's why I only ran this setup for you for one match, just to show it to you guys, guys and gals again. Um, uh, but uh, most of all, um, yeah, just to show it to you, but it sucks. It sucks when you have lots of Titan action going on, you need damage output, you need ammo. And, um, boom, hey dude. Uh, so, I jumped to the Ares here, I think it was an Ares, dropped him. Uh, and then here, again, I'm still empty, I'm empty all the time. So this weapon setup, really not for me, man. I'm, you know, maybe it's for those who really enjoy just, you know, reloading up all the way, then going Assassin style and doing a whole bunch of damage very quickly and then going back in safety. Um, but that's not my playstyle. I'm typically in the action for a long time, continuous, and this is the worst weapon for this type of job. Um, damage output is good though. When you're loaded, you're really good. So it's not like the weapon doesn't do enough damage. It just, uh, it, it just seems to spend too much time reloading. It doesn't regenerate enough firepower uh, to be effective. So next situation, of course, back switching to uh, Evora and Veyron. However, we have a bit of a different module setup. That's why we're not maxed at over 2 million HP. We only have 1.85 million HP now. Jeez, we're a little, we're a little pushover now. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go and uh, and snack them. Because most of all, I should probably say, while we have less HP, we're having tremendously much more firepower instead. Because I have different modules, onslaught reactors, two times and damage controller for 16% additional damage as well. Um, so overall, we still have the durability pilot skills, but the module setup is going for damage, and this you, you can also see here. The damage output is pretty high. Um, look what that what happens to this poor um, Aether Titan there. He just got, like an Aether, wasn't an Aether supposed to be the one, not the, the super powerful meta thing? Is the meta, is the Aether not normally the thing that you really wanna, you know, I don't know. Somebody said that the music was too loud. I hope it's not too loud this time. If it is too loud, I will listen in and I'll bet, f fix it for the next video, but... I think maybe the music is a little too loud, or the game, I don't know. I see the spikes going on. Uh, yeah, so this is a Beacon Rush match, I think, or a Domination. I see the Scorpion, so I already position myself so that when he jumps, he's gonna end up right there. I already started firing before, so I have increased fire rate when, he's, when I need it. And finishing off this guy's shield real quick. Bop, there goes his shield. We still have the 100% durability because it's a Rook Titan. They will pretty much have maximum durability most of the time um, because they can always get it back, uh, which is the new thing now, right? That all Titans must be able to heal. Um, and uh, there's two Rook Titans. I'm focusing the one that currently has no shields on him, but now there's shields back, so 
yeah, it was only a short time where I could actually fire at him uh, with without him having shields. Now I'm simply gonna jump right into the, the two of them. Uh, focusing the guy who just had his jump ability used a second ago. He turns around, which means I have to fire through his back physical shields and then through his front physical shields. I'm turning around too, to make it a little more difficult for him to, um, you know, get through my damage. But I'm slowed like insanity right there. Can't really use my robot, completely limited in movement because of a, a battleship. Um, taking over. Now, I want to jump on, I want to shoot him now. I can't, because he's underneath me and... There's no way for me to aim at him. Uh, so I'm jumping this way. I wanted to jump on him, um, but he simply was underneath me and there was no way to get him targeted. So he's coming in now, but he's got the uh, squad, uh, the other shotguns. And I'm getting fresh physical shields right now in this moment. So a few shots I will completely absorb and then he is gonna be very quickly dead. Now he broke my physical shield in the front, from now on he would have done a lot of damage, but you can't keep up with the damage output that comes from uh, uh, Evora and Veyron, it's just too much, even though they're supposed to be nerfed. Jumping on, the, on this spot, finding out there's a Titan right in front of us, so he's gone as well. Uh, and then next situation, just to show you a quick two on one, two Titans on me, and how zero problem it is, let's finish off the Crisis robot there, and also basically the um, ball, because in the test server they don't have pilots, so they can't have the legendary ball pilot that prevents uh, resistance break. So we have two Titans and a Seraph on us, no the Seraph is turning away, now it's just two Titans for the moment, and I'm breaking through the physical shoot and heavily punishing one of the Rooks, almost killed him completely, and then I make sure I have nothing targeted and I just jump away, bam. I am almost full durability, I almost killed an entire Rook Titan there, and uh, he is now dead because he got a few more extra shots afterwards. I got fresh physical shields, next Rook jumps on me, can't suppress me, I have anti-control, I'm popping my shields, getting a healing back, and meanwhile, um, you know, uh, unloading on the dude through his physical shields and getting fresh physical shields shortly after. Way So his lance and uh, um, the other weapon, gla 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 Glaive and Lance, they can't deal damage to this. Next situation, real quick here, that would be the last one, I think, yes. Um, uh, again, we, have, we are being completely raided by enemy titans in our base. Uh, and, uh, and I have the, uh, the strong ability to, to drop a, a Rook Titan. And that means the enemy, despite having three rooks in our base right now, uh, is gonna quickly suffer, right? So I already dropped one of those rooks. Now I'm turning sideways, showing my all my physical shields while he's unloading his Veyron and Evora. He's really doing next to no damage to me because of it. And this guy jumped on me and... Oh god, you got cloaking now. The Titan has cloak. Of course he has, yeah, a Titan. Um, he would have been dead if it wasn't for the cloaking, but he's shortly dead after, shortly after, right. So, ladies and gents, what do you think about this test server? Um, I, uh, in terms, if you want to hear my opinion, Titan pilots are not needed in the game. Uh, we don't need them. Titans are already so dominant that once they spawn, the regular robots basically have no no reason to exist anymore. Especially in free for all, it's crazy. Um, and. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. And, and now you give them Titan pilots to make them basic, basically 30 to 40% more powerful. Because let's be honest, that's what it is. You give them so many skills, you ba basically make them 40% more powerful. Maybe even more. The amount of HP we can have based off these uh, pilot skills, that alone is 40%. And I'm not even talking about the increased damage yet against other Titans and so on. And so it's it's completely insane what, what how much this changes. Uh, and of course, uh, we all knew it was going to come eventually, but um, yeah, it's not necessary. It's just not, it's, it, 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 it's overkill to give Titans this. I can actually hit this Crisis Robot because he's pretty high. I can hit him um, without targeting through his stealth. And uh, yeah, so ladies and gents, that's it. Let me know what you think about it. Next videos will feature more crisis crisis action. Uh, and uh, also a big surprise coming up with another uh, very surprising topic for you. So stay tuned. A giveaway as well coming up very shortly. So see you in the next videos. Manny signing off. Bye-bye. And have a great weekend, everybody.